it's unboxing time again and just to give you the story behind this I bought some of these taquitos frozen um, this is El Monterey chicken and cheese um, they had so or they have so little flavor that I had to use a lot of guacamole to get some flavor out of it so I decided how difficult would it be to make my own and I know some people will say no taquitos are always made with corn tortillas we'll get to that in a bit um, these use flour flour tortillas um, and I think the reason why or what I read online is that a lot of um, commercial food producers use corn use flour tortillas rather than corn because the corn tortillas break up more easily and they can get a more durable product and get them to sale um, without them breaking up so um, but I'm going to use corn I'm going to make corn tortillas and we'll get to that in a bit but first I have to do some unboxing this arrived today this tape is already coming off This is what I ordered and it's kind of heavy. It is a tortilla press and let's open this up. I'm seeing a bit of tape right here. This is a Victoria brand and it's the eight inch. I love your product. Please leave a review. And then it's heavy because it's cast iron. The handle is here. Throw that down there. And I gotta put this together. Put that over there. Take this apart. They give you an extra um, cotter pin and an extra hinge pin. And I'll set that aside and try not to lose that. Meanwhile, there's one here. Open this out. Slide the hinge pin out. And it's obvious which way this goes because of the shape of the handle. Okay, so when it's closed, this handle, the round side is going to be up. So turn it over. Get the pin to go with through. There it goes. Put the cotter pin in. And if you want to, you could adjust that a little bit. Okay. And then the idea being you're going to put your um, dough down. Put that down and then press okay so I have to um, do some other stuff first like prepare some dough because I want to make my tortillas and then this I want to put into the back into the bowl cover with plastic and let it sit for about 30 minutes from what I saw on YouTube that's to let the corn flour absorb the moisture I'm going to be making chicken taquitos so I bought a rotisserie chicken at Costco and I'm going to use part of this peel the skin off the chicken breast I'm going to use half this chicken breast I think and then I'm going to shred this chicken so I have plenty of shredded chicken meat I've actually done this in a food processor which works but if you're not careful you end up with a chicken paste I'm going to season this with just a little bit of chili powder I don't know whether this is traditional or not not much because I don't like things too spicy hot 
And then for moisture, I have a jar of Salsa Verde, and this is mild. And then put some of that in there. That's good enough. And I want to try something a little different. I saw this in the store. Pork Langaniza. Or Langaniza. I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce that. I thought maybe I'd cook up a little bit of this. It says it's premium cured, but it does say it needs to be cooked. So I thought I'd cook up a little of this in a small skillet. And add some of that to my chicken mixture. So here's my cooked pork longanitsa. I tasted that. It's got an unusual flavor to it, but it's good. And let's stir that together. Every video I saw said to use plastic. Some cut um, the side seams off of a zipper lock bag, zipper top bag. Some said to use thicker or thinner plastic. I don't know. They did say to take bit of the dough, roll it between your hands, and it should weigh, supposedly, I've got a little scale over here, between 50 and 60 grams, is that right? This is my first time ever making tortillas this way, so I'm experimenting, I'm testing as I go along. So you put that sort of in the middle Pat it down, put the plastic on top, close the plate, and then press. And if everything goes according to plan, you should end up with a raw tortilla. And that's spread out just beyond the plastic. You can see a little bit is over here. So 50 is too much. I'm going to say 30 to 40, but I'm going to cook that. Okay, if everything goes according to plan, I can lay that down and you cook it for 30 seconds. So I'm going to set a timer for 30 seconds. Okay. Another 30 seconds to a minute on this side. Try flipping this again. I'm giving it a pat. If I do it right, and I'm evidently not, but if I do it right, it should puff up, inflate like a little balloon. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit of browning. I like that. Hopefully I've got enough to make about three or four taquitos. So I'm going to put some of this meat inside. I don't have to stuff it too full. And then I've got some shredded cheese. This is Monterey Jack. Just going to roll this over lightly and place it in the basket of my air fryer because I'm going to fry these in my air fryer rather than in oil. That's what I saw people doing on YouTube and I like the idea. So I've got six here that I'm going to put in my air fryer. I'm going to set the temperature to 400 and set the cook time to six to seven minutes. I'm gonna say seven, because they're a little bit thicker the way I made those. Let's see, I'll take this one and this one. Right there. Put a little bit of guacamole on my plate. Now I can cut into these, see what they look like inside, and see what they taste like. First thing I wanna do is see what they look like inside. Look at all that filling. And what I found with these also is very little guacamole is needed because all the flavor is in the taquito.
That's delicious. Oh, that is just delicious. My very first attempt at using that wherever I put it, that tortilla press to make my own corn tortillas, to make my own taquitos. Not bad for a first attempt.